Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm at Heart of Georgia Airport in Eastman, Georgia, where Eastman Aviation makes these two LSAs behind me. The high wing is a CH-750 and the low wing is a CH-650. Now these are offshoots of Zenith Aircraft, which is a well-known kit aviation manufacturer. And we're going to take a look at these airplanes and then we'll fly in the CH-750 first with Gary Webster. The CH-750 can appropriately be called the Sky Jeep because it's strongly biased toward the utility end of the LSA spectrum. It's one of only a few LSAs that can be considered a truly stole aircraft. It has full span flaperons and fixed leading edge slats that enhance control at the slow speeds you need to land an airplane on short fields. To improve pitch control at slow speed, the CH-750 also has a unique inverted profile horizontal stabilizer. The control circuitry is standard cables, but with a unique Y-grip center stick between the two pilots. For avionics, you can have about anything you want. This particular airplane is equipped with Dynon glass and a Garmin GPS map 496 in the center panel, plus a transponder and comm radio. Ingress and egress is easy thanks to large clear plastic doors. For power, the CH-750 has a Continental O200D, the lightened version of Continental's popular 100 horsepower engine. This is a somewhat unusual choice, but it reflects Eastman's goal to build an LSA in North America with parts from the same source. That's plenty of power to allow the CH-750 to deliver on its stole claim. As you can see from this clip, the airplane bolts off the runway and climbs well. We are close to a thousand feet before the end of the runway at Eastman. We've just taken off from Eastman Airport. We're actually a bit west of Eastman. We've tried some uh, slow flight. Gary, this airplane has uh, flap rods and it has leading edge slats. Tell us how those work. Well, the airplane's uh, purpose built to be a short takeoff, uh, short landing uh, aircraft. And with the leading edge slats, what that does is give the uh, airplane capability at a high angle of attacks to uh, accelerate the air over the wings and give you increased lift. Uh, flap rods. Uh, We put the CH-750 stole capability to the test on Eastman's long runway with about 10 knots of wind straight down the runway. And now we're slowing the speed up uh, towards about 60 knots. We're about 8 right now, about 1400 RPM. I'm thinking about 500, 600. landed ahead of the numbers and we're stopping before the first fixed distance marker which makes it about 400 feet or so. Yeah, and I, I probably could have done shorter if I wanted. You can find a full review of the CH-750 in the June 2011 issue of Aviation Consumer and more details on the airplane at Eastman's website, eastmanair.com. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.